In Southern California, police are still trying to explain this week's fireworks explosion that rocked a South Los Angeles neighborhood. We're learning the fireworks may have been brought in from out of state to be sold. The blast injured 17 people, including 10 law enforcement officers. Reporter Jeff Nguyen has the latest on the investigation. This thick and heavy metal lid was moved two days after it took out parts of a tree and a roof and landed in a yard where it flew about three blocks. Following the blast from the LAPD bomb squad truck that detonated illegal fireworks in South LA. <laughs> The terrifying explosion was captured on cell phone video Wednesday night by the Martinez family who've been staying at a Red Cross shelter set up at the Fred Roberts Recreation Center. I'm just frustrated because they could have thought this through about like the fireworks. Their home is unlivable while frustrated neighbors have been documenting the damage after the raid that ended with what the chief called a total catastrophic failure of that containment vehicle. Like our house was destroyed and there's some valuable things inside that's hard to recover because like it doesn't and it takes and it's going to take a while to get that back. The blast damaged the ceiling of this furniture store, which has been tough to get to for customers. No customers come in. The day is more longer. We're waiting to know when it's going to be open so we can start having the customers coming back. About 45 federal agents from ATF have started processing the debris field, which includes the lid. For the integrity of the investigation and the evidence, you have to leave it in place until you're ready to process that piece of evidence. The Martinez's say they've had to move from one shelter to a second without much advance notice or information about the future. Tougher to do since Giovanna's brother has autism and her dad has type 2 diabetes. Then he has later upcoming surgeries and we just don't know what to do because he can't find somewhere to rest. Well, police arrested a 27-year-old man in connection with the illegal fireworks.